Now, when I tell y'all that the covert narcissist is a Leviathan, one of the princes of hell, and I keep saying there's there are other things out there, that's one of seven. And although she is God's most powerful abomination, we hear more about Lucifer than anybody. What makes Lucifer so detrimental Lucifer is the first one to come Lucifer one is the one who breaks you Lucifer has to be kept in bound. Lucifer is in the air. The Leviathan is in the water. So Lucifer can go anywhere. The story of Icarus, some Greek mythology, and he wanted to go up there with the, by the sun, so he forged some wings and made them out of wax and tried to fly up into the sun and the wax wings melted and he fell to the earth and that's the the whole thing with um even with the uh bible verse pride goes before the fall it is about having what it was called excessive pride you're supposed to have some type of pride about yourself excessive pride and the story of, of Icarus and, and, and the Bible verse and all that that pretty much it just means that you're going to make a fool of yourself and when I've been given breakdowns of all these little encounters and there's a reason why I was not walking around as myself and I was not walking around in my power how do tr people treat me without the clout that they are going after? Opposed to how they act when the clout is there. And then when you really do have something of importance, you're going to protect that. So I already know what happens when people find out what I really am and who I really am. That's those people who they wish they would have treated you better if they had known. That's cloud chasing. And I be reading all those memes on, on, on social media and I'm like, so you would prefer that somebody you think gonna, gonna now come to terms with your value and you think that's a safe individual to have around you? There's a whole army of these things uh, trying to breach my, 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 my boundaries that's trying to do all kind of different 
ways and things of 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 trying to uh, steal my light, usurp my power. They desire the power. They desire to 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 possess what you have. They have no true value for you. And I liken them to viewing you as, or viewing me as, or viewing us as, like a flashlight. And when the batteries go dead in the flashlight, they don't have an, even enough value for you to change the batteries. They have no value for you, no consideration for you. And these are the ones who sit in your face and smile in your face the hardest. And those who pretend the hardest. That's how deeply they desire. And it's subconscious. And it makes it even more dangerous. And it makes it ultimately dangerous. When you think that that's going to matter, when you're in a very tough situation, and you think that they're going to be strong enough, develop a moral code out of nowhere to consider you and not causing you harm or damage or even destruction. These type of individuals, they subconsciously operate in destruct mode. You mess up when you take this stuff personally. When you bypass the what and self-doubt and leave yourself open to the who. These are all biblical allegories. That's how those closest to you or even put in a position or even a position to betray you. Peter in the Bible. Peter betrayed Jesus. Judas set Jesus up. Judas came into the situation getting down, babe. Judas wasn't a close friend or partner or whatever, disciple or whatever you call it of Jesus. And this is all allegories. Peter was what was closest to Jesus. Peter denied Jesus, Peter is the essence of a clout chaser. Peter was not even worthy to even die besides Jesus.
when somebody wants to usurp your power, and that's what I've been saying about them for decades. We just now, modern day, using the word clout. And see, that, I'm not going to go into the confusion of name changing. That's, yeah. See, it's very dangerous. Because of who they present themselves to be. And I say this over and over again. No matter how covert and deceptive a person are with their words and even with their actions. People are not built or designed to lie and deceive. So through microaggressions, microexpressions, and even just through just slipping of the tongue, they would say. The truth always come out. Reality always come out. And that's why this creates a sort of a cognitive dissonance with people, with dealing with these individuals because now you're having confliction within yourself. Like, hold on, this person said this and this person did that and now this person said this and this person did that. Which one of them is the, is the, is the real one? And once you understand, that don't even matter. They're telling you right then and there. They're not what they pre they present themselves to be, Lucifer. You telling me that a person who's not with all that is going to send you conflicting information? Does somebody have integrity? Everything that they're going to do is to avoid any semblance of that conflict coming from them. i just been sitting back the past six years just watching what people have been trying to run on me. The things that people been trying to... Yeah, you know, if you if you really, you solid, and you really, you know what I'm saying? And you been fully, and you still fully, you are not going to sit up there and move in a way that's going to make you look like you down bad and you on something that you not on. That's, you don't want to look that way. You don't want to come off that way. So what would make you, whoever... Is confused by this think that somebody accidentally did some down bad trifling ratchet type stuff to it towards you. That somebody accidentally made made choices and decisions and actions to make them look in a a, a, a negative light. That's all because of self that's all a part of not wanting to come to terms with self and our own issues so we try to make excuses for other people's actions and the conflict of their actions not their actions Behind every destructive thing I've seen out here, it always led back to a clout chaser. It started with clout chasing and it ended with clout chasing. The destruction they cause 
in the name of usurping the power of those with the power in the cloud. Lucifer, right? So this is just an introduction into cloud chasing on cloud chases, but this is a deep topic and a very serious topic. And I'm not making any light of the things that narcissists do at all. I don't know if all cloud chasers are narcissists and all narcissists are cloud chasers. But what I'm talking about is two totally different entities. I'm talking about pride versus envy. The Leviathan, the, the narcissist, that's envy. That's something different. It, 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 for on the outside, you may think it's the same, which would, what makes you miss the cloud chaser. This is what makes you miss the cloud chaser. The cloud chaser is air. It, it hides in thin it, 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 air. You think the narcissist is deceptive. You think that the narcissist is covert and hidden. And they really aren't that covert and hidden. Especially if you're like me and you're conditioned to your battles or with this Luciferian entity. That's way more hidden and covert. It's lighter. That 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 water, that emotion that's heavy, it's easier to feel. You can feel it deeply. Even if you can't see it with the Luciferian, you can't feel it nor see it. So for me, the dealing with the, the Leviathan and the covert all, all, all the narcissists. That I that that I've been said that that they're not even a factor when they come to me. I already know what they are. I see them and they're like they're so obvious. But that's just me. I've I figured that out in, in a matter of a couple of years. It took me decades to 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 fully get my my whole hand around Lucifer. Not just bind them, not just pin them down. I say, get my whole hand, get my, not my whole hand around, yeah, but my whole hand around its whole thing. A clout chaser isn't envious of you. That's what I, I said about these narcissists. A narcissist doesn't want what you have. A narcissist wants to be you, which makes them dangerous as all hell to have them under you. They come in in the game plotting it and, and, and with the intent to destroy you. Now, as for Lucifer, Lucifer don't even really care about destroying you. Lucifer don't want to be you. Lucifer is full of pride. So why would Lucifer want to be you? But Lucifer will take your light. Lucifer will take your shine. 
Lucifer will will take your batteries and pop your batteries out and put it in his flashlight like it ain't nothing and discard you like it ain't nothing. Lucifer not going to even stick around and play games with you. That's the narcissist. If you play back with it, if if you show the narcissist's weakness and you and the narcissist see that you're easy win. Lucifer don't care if the harder the, the better for Lucifer. So Lucifer is going to fight you harder, which means you have to fight Lucifer harder. Weak mind, weak will. You got to have have a strong will and a strong mind and not even let Lucifer breach you. Lucifer breach you all the other six is running through you. Even for the narcissist and the Leviathan to really destroy you and, 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 and have at you. You had to already been breached and broken by Lucifer. And that's why I keep saying when you see one, all seven of them are present. Think it's a game. Cloud chasers are extremely dangerous. They're stronger. Now I said the the Leviathan was God's most what word I use destructive abomination. A narcissist is extremely weak. A narcissist is weakness itself. The pull of it is so strong until it weakens them. They're too heavy. I can hear them. I can see them. I can smell them miles away. They're too heavy. I'm in the air. I could feel them before they move. They're much easier for me to deal with. You, I just been for the past couple of years, just been uh, knocking narcissists out the air. They're not even knocking them out the air because I ain't been in there. But really just uh, not really knocking them out the water, but blowing them, blowing them back off of me in the water. They've never been a, 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 a factor to me. Now, one thing I can tell you, when I caught on that this was a, a narcissist, Now, I was underestimated. I ain't going to say underestimated. I was um, confused and ignorant. I, I was uh, unaware. And I'm keep saying Lucifer and calling Lucifer. And you, you call the devil's name. You call one of them devil's name or even a demon name. They're going to have to answer if you call it by the right name. Rumpel still skin. So when I kept saying, I know Lucifer not stupid enough to just be sitting in my face like this. I said, which one of y'all seven is stupid? Oh, y'all don't know. I, I talk to these things out loud. Yeah, when they're in human form. Which one of y'all, which one of y'all is it? Lucifer, who did you... Oh, this that Leviathan. This that bitch I've been avoiding. I've been avoiding that old who. I ain't never want to even get in a twist with the who. But the whole she kept coming and she didn't want to stop coming. So she warned him. 
So, yeah, that's what's uh, been attacking me, the uh, 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 Leviathans. She want attention so bad. The, the old hell, the, the, the loves of Jezebel spirit, the Leviathan. But no, see these cloud chasers? That's a whole another animal. And you'll be confused. And you'll think that the narcissist is the cloud chaser. Or the cloud chaser is the narcissist. Now, I mind you, that's only two of seven. We've only just begun, and this is merely an introduction into cloud chasing. This is by far more extensive and by far deeper than a narcissist. The narcissist, I broke that down instantly. Stay out of the water. Stop taking it personal and stop letting them play on your emotions and stop making them doubt yourself. Right around you gonna pay the concept, you gonna pay the cost of whatever decision you make. So you make there is no right or wrong decision. Stop letting them play with you like that. See, that's the narcissist. Boom, shut it down. But see them cloud chasers. See Lucifer. Shit. It's unseen, unheard, unta untouched, untaped. Yay. The the violence manipulates all your senses, so you can really feel the pull of the manipulation real easy. Lucifer evades totally evades all your senses. Oh, he's very dangerous, and he's first. He comes first. Pride goes before fall.